As Judy Gilmour gets ready for the holidays, she's also preparing for the possibility she could be left in the dark. We've had a lot of windstorms. Uh, the wind gusts seem to be getting worse, especially in the winter. So outside, another kind of tree trimming. Because when it comes to knocking out power in Nova Scotia, trees are the number one culprit. Trees can knock out power for days. Mark Ryan is a linesman for Nova Scotia Power and he runs a side business trimming trees. He says business is good and getting better. Ever since we've had those storms, like last year was a bad one Christmas time, and uh, people are more aware of the trees now. One time people didn't really care too much about trees and tree work, but uh, they see the damage that it can cause. Nova Scotia Power customers experienced 1.5 million hours of interruption due to tree contacts with power lines last year. That's including during major storms. The utility invests $20 million a year in vegetation management, but that doesn't always work. There are a lot of areas where we can't cut trees because residents don't want us to remove the trees from their property. The failure of Nova Scotia Power's own equipment is also high on the list, with customers experiencing more than 550,000 hours of interruption as a result. In November, nearly half the customers in Nova Scotia were left in the dark, including much of Halifax, where there was no significant weather. It was caused by heavy, wet snow on transmission lines in Cape Breton, where most of the province's power is generated. We actually had multiple transmission lines impacted by that storm, and actually we had backup upon backup upon backup go out. It was an extremely rare event. It prompted outcry on social media. Are the transmission lines held with bubblegum, one person asked? Is Nova Scotia's power grid one of those old strings of Christmas lights where one goes out and the whole thing is off, posted another? But the utility insists everything worked as it should that day, that the system shut down to protect itself from further damage. I just wonder if they're really putting the money into the infrastructure. Because it seems like they're, there's an awful lot of them. It the has Gilmore, and it seems many others, thinking about generators. The instant there's a hint of a storm coming, uh, we get all kinds of calls here. This is different Derek Payton says generator sales are phenomenal this year. Uh, we went from selling no generators in this store to selling probably in excess of 250 generators a year. Everyone seems to agree there are more storms and stronger winds. And electricity is a casualty. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Isla Have, Nova Scotia.